Hi everyone and welcome back to the Malvern Public Library Young Adult Craft Programs. Uh, today we are doing origami animals. Uh, I'm pretty excited about these sets. Um, I've not done origami myself in quite some time, probably since I was a teenager. I remember it being very satisfying when you can remember a shape or a form. Um, as a, a kid, I used to make origami frogs uh, very often. They were very popular to make. Uh, these are some more interesting designs than anything I've ever done as a kid. If you haven't picked up one of the craft kits yet, there are a few more left um, by the time I'm recording this. If, if we run out, um, and this is a as popular a program as it seems to be, uh, we'll try and do this again in the future. But if you already have the craft kit here, it's got duct tape from the last program. Remember we did the duct tape rose pen. And inside you're gonna find, there's some free books in there first off, and second of all, uh, I believe 10, no, 20 different sheets. Uh, of origami paper for today's craft. Uh, I am not going to do 20 different origami sets today. I'm just gonna do one that I'm good at and show you some of the basics of origami. But there are a number of uh, different animals in this set. These are all origami animals that you can make. Um, they are numbered on the papers that you're gonna get. I'm just gonna use regular um, origami paper, but these numbers correspond to a few different shapes. So if you look, there are some places, uh, half of them are going to be just black and white lines that you can color in yourself. And the other half, a little more uh, specific, oops, a little more specific designs. So I don't know if you can tell what this creature is going to be or that one, but when you fold them up, they should make a little bit more sense. We're actually going to do this one today. I'm wondering if you guys can guess what, what that is. Um, yeah, so there's some colorful ones. <laughs> oh, this guy's fun. And then some that you can color yourself. If you run out of paper and you still want to make some of these, you can use just regular computer paper and cut it down to um, a square size. You basically most origami will require a square piece of paper, which is why it's a little hard to do if you don't have that measured out correctly. But this is what you're going to find in your pack. I'm going to put these away. Uh, you will want probably a nice clean workstation somewhere where you can do your folding. S there are some designs in here which uh, will show that they require scissors. Uh, I'm not doing any of those, but if you do have a, a good pair of scissors and you want to try and complete all of these, uh, go right ahead. Let's see, can I find one that requires? They'll stay if they need scissors. They have a little icon where it wants you to cut. But for the most part, these will not require any cutting. Um, so the first thing that I'll show off here is oh, is the first one that I made. And I don't know if you can tell what this is just by looking at this little guy. Uh, these are the ears, this is the nose. This is supposed to be a little dog. You can kind of stand up on him with his own here. And this is number 10, uh, I guess page 10 on the in the crafts is the dog. I don't think I really nailed this guy. Let's see, can I get him side by side? It's a little too long. <laughs> I do like the, the, where the nose is supposed to be, but, um, and the tail's not perky enough. So I just wanna show you guys that uh, this is my first attempt out of the gate and it's not perfect. And it's okay if it's not perfect. If you want, there's, you know, you can practice on a, a blank piece of paper before you get into the arts and crafts papers. 
Um, let's see if I can find another one that I was... Oh, I was excited about the Fox. The Fox one is a little difficult, and I didn't get really... I don't think the fold correctly here, but he also stands up by himself, so I kind of like that one. And this one is the Ladybug, but it's very hard to tell. I've got the wings here. But the one we're going to do today is one I was very happy with how it turned out was the, the Sparrow. Um... So, if you want to follow along while I do this one, go right ahead and the swallow. The swallow is on page 24, and I just saw, do, 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 I think it's design number 12. Yeah, design number 12, page 24. And if you make it with the colored paper or color it yourself, uh, it will look kind of like this, which is neat at the end. Um, the first one I did, I had just some regular cloud paper. I'm going to make this next one out of this paper, a little space and stars. So it's going to be like a starbird. All right, so let's take a look at this a little closer here. Ooh. <laughs> I've been difficulty focusing the camera. The first thing it says to do here, if you can see, is um, white side up. So it says that it means the non-colored or non-drawn on side of the paper. So you can see there's a colored side of the paper and white side. So white side up, and we're gonna fold diagonally and unfold to make creases. Uh, not only diagonally, but also um, kind of like north and south on a compass as well. So I will show you my method for trying to fold once. I want to take the bottom white piece of paper and the top colored side and just kind of line up the corners first. Get it so it is as close to perfect as possible. Then you want to line up the sides here and here. Do, do, do. This could take a little bit of practice, which is fine. And then hold this side down, then come down here and crease and fold. And I can already tell I didn't do a good job, which is, which is fine. Oh, if we look here, oh, look, there's a little bit of white coming over. If you want, you can try and realign, fold it out again. We're just making a crease line here. We're going to have to do this a couple times in order to get done with this step. Ooh. Okay, let me try that again. See if I can get it a little better on the first try. There are some very difficult projects, origami crafts projects in, in the book or in the pages, the directions um, in here. If, uh, if you come across one that's too hard for you, it is probably too hard for me as well, which is why I'm not doing it here on this recording. And so folding it across and do that one more time, so. Four folds in total to start this one off. It's in real time, so you can see just about how long this takes. Now, let's see if you can see do the natural. Do, do, do. It's on that side. So you see, fold here, fold there, diagonal, fold diagonal as much folds as possible. The next step says fold along the crease lines as shown in the direction of the arrow. This is a little hard step as, I don't know if you can see this one up here, step two, it requires you to fold a couple of these inside. Like so, oh, if I can do it. 
on top. This is hard to show this guy. So this is what the bottom is kind of going to look like. So now that I've got it folded, I can kind of do it again. So like this, you're going to take two sides. It doesn't really matter. You can do these two before I got these folded. And fold it in just like that. All right. And that looks pretty good. If we go ahead and look at the next step, step three, it says fold along the dotted line as shown in the arrow. So this is after step two, what you should be looking at. And that is pretty close. We're looking at the outside just like that. And the next couple lines are a little tricky. You're folding it over itself, kind of like this. Oop. Let's see here. We'll get all the way up to the top into a diagonal. Just see it from that point of view. And now the next side, we're going to just fold over this like that. And if you can see, see ahead into the future, I'm making the tail of the bird. So here's once again the final product right next to it. So just like that, you got some wings, you got some tails here. The next step says fold the top corner downwards. And this is a good amount almost half of this wingspan. So I'm gonna go down to Yeah, so I'm taking like kind of the tip of the bird here and folding it almost down about halfway. There we go. And the next step is fold the top corner upwards along about quarter of the way down here, like that. Mm -hmm. All right, next step, it says, turn it over. So we were working on this side, now we're going to this side and fold along the dotted line, bending this backwards. Yes. So there's a line right down the middle of the bird. And this gets a little hard here because this is now about 12 pieces of paper that I'm folding on. It's like the sixth time I've folded this paper. You can feel it gets a little tight. That, that's pretty, I don't know if I can show it to you better. A little thick right here makes it a little difficult so you want to pinch it down you can push it with your palm of your hand and uh, the last step says to unfold there we go and that's what it looks like that is the final product i believe the finished product is this bird. Now, I have not thrown this like a paper airplane, um, but you might be able to get some distance out of one of these guys. Uh, I don't recommend doing that inside, but um, this was one of my favorite ones to build. It did require a little bit of ingenuity in how you, you, you bent the paper at first, but it was pretty easy to follow. As I said, there are much harder ones in here that I might try in the future some cute animal shapes. It's a very difficult one. Test. There we go. Okay. Oh, we're back. <laughs> Some difficult ones like the camel. I'm sorry. I think I just knocked out my um, camera <laughs> here. Uh, the camel is pretty difficult looking. This one is four pages, so gives you a little hint. 
if you guys make some of these that you're really proud of, uh, feel free to share them with the library. Uh, snap us a picture maybe or send it along. Um, I would love to see how some of these turn out. Oh, look, the rooster, the penguin is really quite spectacular. The carp. Ooh, and I have not made the crab, but that, that one might be next on my list. Uh, right, so that is the wide world of origami, of uh, folding paper. If you guys like this one and you want to try some more in the future, let me know. We'll see if we can find some other sets. And I love the animal one, and we can get more of these too if people like them. Anyway, thanks so much for supporting the library and taking a look at the programs that we've had here over the summer. And we are going to wrap up the summer reading program fairly shortly and move on into the fall. Uh, thanks so much once again. And if you have any questions, questions uh, just give us a call at the library and we'll be happy to answer them for you. Until then, Thank you so much and have a great day.